Hello folks, welcome to MSFS. You join me as I'm about to take off from Red Hill in the Cessna 182 RG. The new one by Carinado. In fact, I've got a review out on the channel soon. So stay tuned for that. But in this video, we're going to talk about the eye tracking feature of the Pimax Crystal. I'm using it right now, actually and uh, it's very very exciting it's great to finally see what it can do so at the moment and I'll put on the screen now what it looks like I'm using the beta version of the Pimax client software which enables me to use the automatic IPD adjustment and I must say overall I'm very impressed with it I've had no glitches whatsoever and I've been flying all day today. So there's a few things I really do like. For instance, it tells you how to position your head in the headset, if that makes sense. Uh, and a little display will come up if it's incorrect. Although at the moment that display, it's on for too long. But however, I do like that feature. Very much like the Variant Air, actually. I also like how with this new firmware update, there is a message in the headset when the battery is running low. That's kind of cool. And yeah, it, it's quite strange uh, seeing the lenses move on their own. So it's, it really is great to see that working. But the exciting thing really is the fact that I'm using it in MSFS. Now, don't get too excited. This is not a native implementation. But a massive shout out, as always, to the legend that is Matt over at the OpenXR Toolkit uh, Discord for um, sending me a beta version of the Pimax XR Switcher, which also enables eye tracking. So what that means is you can use the OpenXR Toolkit to um, you know, increase your performance. And I'll put on the screen now how that works. As you can see there, very much like the Aero, and you have um, the favorited rendering option, set that to preset, or you can customize it as well. I've got mine set to customize for the time being, running on the quality setting. And overall, there's about a five to six frames per second difference. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but every little helps, right? And I suppose over time, this may get better. I must say though, that extra 5 frames per second means I'm comfortably above 50 frames per second. And that makes quite a difference to the smoothness, without a doubt. It's really great to see it in action, and I'm quite surprised as well with how the eye tracking performs. It's also worth mentioning that I am using VR Rock lens inserts, and I'm so pleased to say that the tracking works absolutely flawlessly with these inserts. So if you are thinking about getting a pair, and I would highly recommend that you do, at least you know that the eye tracking works perfectly. And I'm using it right now to record this video, and we're currently getting 51 frames per second. Here's the other thing. I am using TAA mode, and if you notice on the uh, screen, I'll show you it again in case you didn't see it, I'm actually overriding the resolution and it's still very high at 3500 by 4142 or something like that anyway. But that's because I've got a 4090 and I really love that clarity. But when you use a DLSS, of course the eye tracking comes into its own even more and I've so far managed a solid 60 frames per second in the headset and if you use a bit of FSR and sharpening in the OpenXR toolkit. It actually looks really, really good. So as always, Matt has truly come to the rescue and provided the Pimax Crystal with an extra boost in performance. And it's very much welcome. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for all that you do for the VR community. It really does not go unnoticed. Please know that. So next on the list is the exciting one. I'm going to use DCS with native DFR support. 
much like the Via Aero, I think that's going to be something else, <laughs> quite you know, entirely, in terms of the benefits. I hope one day we might see a native solution for MSFS, although I'm not holding my breath. But it is fantastic to see that that's a thing in DCS, so expect that video soon. But overall, I think Pimax have done a great job with the software for the eye tracking. It seems to be working really, really well. And it's a great feature of this headset that can be exploited. I hope that video was uh, useful to you. As I say, it's just a quick first look video. I'll continue to mess around with the settings and hopefully the official Pimax client software for the eye tracking will be released in due course. Hopefully very, very soon in fact. Take care folks, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye for now.